power on. You are now plugged in. All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Plugged In. We got the most exclusive, most specialist episode ever happening right now. Like, if you look around, there's like six people here right now. Maybe seven or eight and nine and ten if you really could get the full view. It's crazy here right now. But so we're going to do a drum roll. We got to do like the biggest drum roll. My co-jose is not here, but me and him, we usually do the drum roll right. So we got to... drum roll we ever had too like that was up all right um yeah we got some special guests in the building like mad special guests in the building like who's gonna start i think you should start Tell us who you are, where you're okay. from, what do you do? My name is Bob from Accounting. No, I'm just kidding. I'm my, name is, say, <laughs> my name is Manny Griffin. Um, some of y'all know me. I'm kind of a hermit. I really don't go out the house like that. Um, this past protest at MLK is my first protest ever. And what I can say is my biggest accomplishment in my life. Um, all of us, are pretty, most of us are probably there at that protest. And that when we were in there, it felt like we were in the Gladiators Arena. Um, big event. Um, so, started walking up to people and like, yo, let's get this on tape, let's make a documentary, and we started making a team, and here we are. Um, I'll let Talon take the reins and go from there. All right, tell us who you are, what do you do, where are you from? Oh, man, it's Talon Thomas, a.k.a. June Boy, a.k.a. June rapper, inspirational rapper, slash activist, slash, slash. dad, slash, slash. <laughs> you know, just, I'm just lit, I'm just uh, full he's of energy. Saying he's like, I know that's right. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I, you know, everything kind of changed overnight for me. Um, you know, so I'm wait, just, how old are you guys? I'm 28. You're 28. I'm old enough to be your dad. You're lying. No, I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> like, you're a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? You don't want to tell us? No, I'm 28. I'm 28. Oh, you're 28, 28 too? Yeah, we went to school together. School together. Yeah. And Tom, okay. hey, Tom, he was like, I said he did. You were in front of me. He was like, yeah, you're making me feel old and stuff. So, you guys were up in Binghamton? Yeah, we went to okay. school together. Okay. Yeah. Now, all right. You want to introduce yourself? You look quiet. I ain't heard him say nothing the whole time we've been here. All day. Tell us who you are, what you do, where you from. I'm King UBL from local uh, hip hop artists. Um, okay. I'm Marcus Island, Binghamton, okay. Cisco Industry area. Okay. Um, I know the area down there. Yeah, thank, thanks to talent, uh -huh. aka the real June Boy. The real June Boy. Real June Boy. Letting me know that I'm going to be on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. 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 let that's love, okay? Plugged in Salams, love. It doesn't get much. any better than that. Okay, we're gonna move over here. Which one do you guys wanna go first? Ladies first. Um, Ladies first. So my name is Kristen Nicole. I am originally from Virginia, but I moved out here six years ago. And I am a professional artist. Um, I paint pictures for a living. When like, she say when she say that she paint pictures, okay. she made she made real <laughs> portraits. Do you do this yeah. for a living? Yeah. 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 Let's clarify. Wait, wait, wait. You do it for a living? Uh, we got your yeah. artwork yeah. downstairs yeah. too. Uh, we should have brought that bless. up. I know we and did it. It's not no, up there. It's not up there. But she she's the lady that's painting Black Lives Matter <laughs> in the street. Can, can the camera I'll see her really that. good? Can the camera <laughs> see her really, really good? good? This is Kristen Nicole. So yeah. when y'all yeah. grandkids, you hear that up name, you just put your fist up. Y'all see Black Lives Matter in that's the street. A fact. That's the lady that's painting the picture. That's a so fact. in the giveaway, we're giving away her painting, that's which is gonna fact. like probably quadruple in value in like twenty years. <laughs> that's a fact. She's selling for forty five dollars. But 20 years, you got it. 45 yes. million years. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, let's well, get into it. You hit Chris and Nicole, you just got to put no a fist up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Black Lives Matter. Yeah. She's 30. You look so young and you feel. I know. Got you. She looks like she's 20. My son does it. Oh, I love yeah. it. Go yeah. ahead. Uh, what's up, y'all? My name is. Thomas or Big Tom, whatever they call me. I like Big Tom. Yeah. You know I what I'm like saying? Big Tom. Big Tom. Uh, that's what a lot of people know me by. Uh, activist. I'm just a local activist. Yo, Big Tom. I'm, you can't be I'm looking just a at human this, being that life, just want to make sure that this world become a better place in the long run. You hear me? And so I'm, I'm local everywhere that I go. If I'm here, I'm local. If I'm there, I'm local. And now <laughs> I know that's my goal right. is to just be able to learn and, and to share. You feel me? So and, and I met him at yoga. So he does yoga too. And he's vegan too. And he gave me crystals. <laughs> free crystals. What? Let's get into it. Whenever Big what? Time speaks, everybody just shuts up. 
Like, I'm dead serious. Is it not true? So you there's like Big Tom. From what I've seen, for the most part, yeah, look, yeah listen, he's a very smart man. Okay. Hey, but guess so what? When you, he leaves, you were a senior when they were in school. <laughs> you went to Binghamton High School, too? <laughs> did you go to Binghamton High School, too? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what about you? I went to Binghamton High School you until I dropped out. Yeah. I, I dropped out. I want to make that clear because, you know. Wait, you dropped out, you said? Yeah, everybody thinks you got to be a. Uh, a high school graduate or a college graduate in order to do something with your life. And it's not true. I'm not true. let people know that despite whatever you've been through, you can still turn it around and do great things with your life. You just got to get on track, stay on track, and prosper, baby, and you're going to be straight. Like, Period. Yeah. Period, boo. Yeah. And that's that on that. Okay. So, <laughs> so we're here today because there's a documentary in the works, okay? That's why we're all gathered here today because really, clearly, everyone needs their own individual interviews here. But we're here today because of this man. I don't know about you guys, oh, but he's the one that tapped me and told these me. Are all, these are all our, this is our team. This is not just a one-man <laughs> game, even if I wanted to. Like, if it was just me, you know how boring this documentary would be? Of course. Like, but sure, the original, I'm not he's the, the one freaking, that... Taylor's the rah-rah. Freaking Big Tom's the freaking the, the showstopper. We got Kingston over here. We got Chris and Nicole Payne, Black Lives Matter. We got <laughs> Austin there behind the camera. He does right. the Excite Wrestling. Um, Nicole just came in and popped up. She does the art gallery, so, like, it takes a team. So, and we got you. I love it. We got plugged in with Rocky. And I'm Rocky... I do plugged in here, you know. You guys like, see me, don't nothing shout, new. Shout out to you because I appreciate Thanks. you that you 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 know young black African American female that you're starting Thank your you. own radio station. Thank you. You know, like <laughs> it, like really, this Thank is you. like a CN. This could probably be like a CNN. Right. That's How the many goal. Do, you know, that's where yeah. we're trying to go. You know. Yep. So, Absolutely. Thank you. Shout out to you for having. I appreciate us. it. But so the documentary. What are we doing? Like this is real life. This is a real meeting here. This is yeah, like this our is first real... meeting. I've never been in a room I with think, all these people. I think so like one of the ultimate to goals for Manny was to uh, not let our story be retold. Okay. You know? Yeah. Like because there was a lot of things going on with the protests and, and a lot they might of stories. Want to rewrite history. As like yeah. right. Like even yeah. with yeah. the whole footage. fire at Rec Park, you know right. they spread it rumors mm -hmm. and you know we catching a lot of this stuff on camera. So right. mm -hmm. once we put all of this stuff together, you can't say we did this or did that. It's, it shows you right here what was. Right, on, so I think what he's trying to do it. is just tell our own story, yeah, you know. I love it. And I not only just our story, goal. like what Talon said, but this story that's, that's so similar <laughs> to people everywhere throughout this country and throughout this world yeah, when absolutely. it comes to oppression, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. if we could create uh, a platform here that can move forward, then we're doing something good here. So just documenting this and being able to show mm -hmm. um, that we were able to protest and get ourselves heard and create change without becoming violent without putting ourselves in in the middle of that drama you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i think that that's the important thing to look it's at legendary bro. Yeah. it's it historic is. it's a lot and of I mean, legendary it, it says it in happened. that picture it's you know city. alone that picture mm -hmm. was like yo all of those people right nothing bad happened shout out to drew mm -hmm. shout out to drew you know Lewis. a month and a half later here we are doing this still and the pushing. movement is still yeah. going mm -hmm. so yes. yeah it just lets you know. I mean, me personally, being in with all of these different faces, I mean, I've known Nico. I've known a few people here for some years, but a lot of these Shout faces are new faces. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it lets me know that all right, I'm doing something right. I'm on the right, right track, and we just got to keep this thing going. And we're mm -hmm. all on the right track to bring us all together. Like, like months from, from before this, where were we? Were we in each other's contacts? I was trapped. I keep it a thousand. But like, did, 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 I, did I hit you up? Yo, let's Tana, be what real. are you doing today? Yo, let's Tana, be what real. Are you doing today? Rocky, you gonna do a plug in up? We were never like right. we had never, never thought about meeting each other. Right. We had never right. been in six the same months room. ago. I had okay. an orange jumpsuit on. So who who else? Wow, welcome home. That's awesome. Yeah. Honestly, so, welcome home. Congratulations. Awesome. Um, so. What made you like? Who else? First of all, who else is a part of this? Because there's other people. So there's like a there's like a few other people sitting. that are not here sitting here. Okay, who, who um, did you call? Names off the top of my head, I cannot think of, and I'm sorry. Shout out to so, Trey Davidson, right? Trey Davidson, yeah. Trey Davidson linked me with Austin Lawrence down there. Shout out to Austin um, Lawrence. I just met him today. He's a Gemini. Yeah. We talked about that. Yeah. So basically, let me tell you some more about this documentary. So the whole purpose: right. control the narrative. I don't know what can we got two cameras rolling right now. So, we got three, four. Look, it's cameras. Yeah, there's three cam there's this cameras. There's cameras everywhere. <laughs> there's cameras everywhere. So, the whole purpose of this documentary, one, control the narrative. Two, we're laying down a blueprint 
<laughs> We're laying down a blueprint. <laughs> We're laying down a blueprint for our grandkids. Mm -hmm. You guys don't have kids now? Get some kids. <laughs> so get some kids. No, no that's kidding. scary. Yeah. <laughs> that's really so, that. so yeah, we're laying out a blueprint for them. So when they see this documentary, they're like, boom, we're not going to make all the right moves, but they're going to learn from us. They're going to like, oh, we seen what my grandpa did. We seen what our, grand, our grandma did. We're laying out a blueprint for them. Our intention is to make this thing go big so that other communities, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of big times, there's a lot of Manny's, there's a lot of Chris's, there's a lot of Taylor's, there's a lot of Kinks's, there's a lot of Nico's, there's a lot of Austin and Meg's. So they're doing a lot of stuff there that we're doing. And if we could make a documentary here and then they could use the documentary there mm -hmm. and this thing goes big, it puts a lot of pressure on Netflix. Those, yeah, exactly. Right. Netflix. So it puts a lot of <laughs> right. pressure on the politicians to make the right moves for us because for instance, Talon's Uber situation. He, the other day, um, he got an Uber situation. Mm -hmm. And um, explain what happened. You want me to tell the story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story. Basically, I just don't, don't, don't get the whole. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Because they could just go on live and see it. But I basically yeah, jumped in the Uber. It, no, it'll be in a documentary. Yeah, it's going to be sure. in there. It's going to be in there. Um, but basically, I had a mask all day until it was time to go home. It was one of those little doctor masks. So I tossed it. Jumped in the Uber. Dude ain't say nothing. He drops like five, six blocks. And while I'm playing my commercial for a day out of quarantine, I don't know if he felt some type of way about that because he just pulled over and was like, you got the mask. And I'm like, no, you know, but I'll cover my face or whatever. So dude just stopped the car, gets out, calls the police, talking about I'm getting arrested and all this other stuff. The so, Uber driver? The Uber driver, Because yeah. you didn't have a mask. Because I didn't have a mask. And I told him like, yo, you could just cancel the ride and right. I'll walk or let me cover my face. I mean, <laughs> you already like, drove six blocks. We only got about six more to go. You know, like, just cancel the ride, you right. know? But he went on and called the police and did all this extra stuff, so. But I believe that um, he's not an Uber driver anymore. I did get some word that his, his thing dropped down at like 4.6 wow. something. So, because so that's we crazy. got so you're out of here. Please do we got it on tape. You got it all on tape? Yeah, it's on tape. He got it all on tape. I have tape. it all on live. As soon as my live was, like, as soon as my phone died, I turned around and he was standing right there. You were like, supposed to tell that part. <laughs> it was like, it's not a it is what it yeah, is. Okay, it is. But like, we caught it, and they're, they're going to see it. They're, it's going to be in the documentary, wow. and they're going to see it. They're going to see it. It's, this is going to be lit. So where's my footage? You never came to follow me with the camera. <laughs> I, I got to quit my job, guys. Started this something. is just yeah, all... You gotta, I don't know. I got to quit my job so I can be riding around right the there. and then he can record me for the doc. Like, come on. Okay, yeah, come on. Austin's right there. He'd say, zoom in on her Austin face. Austin doesn't want to record me he is being a preschool you. teacher. Like, Why not? That's some dope he, footage. He's recording you right now. He, <laughs> it's yeah, actually you got, you're really not. Kids. But, okay. So I got a question for you. What's been your most interesting oh, yes. lesson to date teaching preschoolers? Yes. Ooh. Patience. No, I mean what you had to teach them. Oh. Um. Well, first of all, you wouldn't believe nobody says please and thank you anymore. So that's really basic that I didn't think I would have to Oh, would you please tell kid. me the answer to that question? Thank you. Oh, oh. I like it. Okay, I like how you time. used your please and thank you, Tom. Thanks. But um, okay, I'm trying to think. That's a good question. I'm trying to think what else happens there. I don't know. The most what was it? The most interesting thing? Yeah. Um, are they bad? Are they worse than us when we were kids? Absolutely. Yes. And that's what I'm saying. Just yes. that as a whole is the most interesting thing. Like <laughs> yes. these kids yes. are <laughs> bad. Like I don't even watch them. I don't even watch these kids and I know they worse. And they are cute, but Do they're you want to spank them like, is the question. Yes. Have you I ever can't. spanked them? No. Stop trying to make me catch a case. <laughs> She's never no, spanked kids. I never spanked kids. I would never do that. No, I would never do that. Okay, okay. But the point is, it's just that they're so off the chain. If you like could the spank them, the would you spank them? They was my kids, but good answer. Not. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> answer. moving on. <laughs> <laughs> they're not my kids, so that's that. But yeah, the kids are bad. Dudes. Please do something with the youth. That's why I thank you, Talent, for doing what you're doing with the youth. He's you know, thank you to me for doing moves. what I'm doing with you. Somebody got to care for the youth because they's out here wowing. So. Or is that going to be on the documentary? Talon's yeah. doing an event um, down at Asada Shakur Park mm -hmm. on the 25th, and everybody should pop out for it's the kids. It's called a day, out of a, a day Out of Quarantine, and basically, an uh, eighth grader, her name is uh, Mimi Milagros. Um, okay. She hit me up after Juneteenth. I'm still trying to learn how to pronounce it right. But uh, she hit me up after Juneteenth and was like, hey, I, lo I love how Juneteenth turned out. You know, um, could we have that for the kids, though? And I'm just like... 
all right, what you want to do? She was just like, we just want to have fun. I'm tired of TikTok. That's exactly what she said. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm tired Aww. of sitting in the house Poor baby. on TikTok. So I'm like, all right, you know, we got some events coming up. You know, I was extremely overwhelmed. I was tired. Um, so I said after the speak out on the 4th, we'll schedule, we'll get, we'll get the date, and we'll get everything going. So after the 4th, I hit her up, and instantly I just started buying stuff and just getting everything <laughs> moving and... Once I once I get my venue or the the spot where right. we're gonna do it at, it's that's all I need. Movie. So, right. um, you know, we got the park for that, and everything is in motion. It's gonna be lit. I got it. It's gonna be a full eight hour day. I know y'all gonna be eight hours. I said a day out of a quarantine. A What's a day when you go to work? Eight hours. Mm -hmm. So we got DJ Reggie. Savage E. Oh, shout out to DJ Reggie. Yeah, shout out to DJ Reggie. He's going to be spinning from 12 to 4. And then we're going to have world famous DJ Supreme spinning from 4 to 8. Okay, I know Supreme. We're going to have popcorn, cotton candy, burgers, hot dogs, games, obstacle courses, bouncy houses, right. bouncy basketball hoops, Are adults allowed to play with no kids? I don't have any kids. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You are a kid. kid. And the, kid. the most Maybe. important part. It's 18 and under. Okay. Not necessarily. I want I want everybody to come, but the the crucial part about it is the kids are gonna be running it and right. hosting it. I'm okay. gonna have kids security hopefully. Um, you know, I just want the kids to run all the vending tables they so they know run. how an event actually runs. So you know, and when we cross over, right. we we move on. They know what to do next. Like, I oh, I saw it. my dad do this. This is how you do it, and they can see somebody else. So Manny, how'd you go about picking all these? Awesome people to be I harassed things. everybody. You sure did. Now hold on. Let me back him up on that. I'm telling you, when this when this first started, I felt some type of way. Cause this man, yo, this man was pulling up to my house at seven in the morning. He's walking in my driveway, and I'm like, what the He's ambitious. <laughs> and, I and, like it. And it wasn't until I sat there. It was after my, I think it was after my birthday. We really had to sit down. And he was like, yo, this is what I want to do. We need a camera. He was like, yo, let's get a trailer. Sit outside your right. parking lot. Right. So <laughs> so when you wake up, they are already recording you. And I'm like, yo, slow down. Like, you know. I was, I was thinking at like the hundred step. And like, yeah. this and, 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 like, and I had to reel hell? him oh, back in. Like, about? let's go back to step one. Yeah. And, and, and we got it right, yo. And we on the road right now, man. Okay. So, so how is this whole process going to work? But still, back to the question. So what made you want to reach out to each and every one of us? Like, how did you do the selection? I stalk you on Facebook. That's I. That's I. Mean, <laughs> that's, like I, I just that's basically I seen speaking. people like di doing different things and diff different uh -huh. moves. I was like basically I just got the puzzle, metaphoric puzzle, and just started putting it together. And then there's a lot of people that do a lot of the stuff that we're doing, but right. we're the ones here and doing it. You know. Okay. And then you guys are basically the ones that hit me back like, okay, let's do it. Right. You know, I so reached out to everybody. I was going to say, you didn't harass me. He didn't harass me. No, I was on board. I harassed you. didn't harass me. You were just like, yeah, that's because you responded. Like, yeah, if you weren't responding, I would have been like, yeah. okay, Rocky, I'm showing up the fuck in. I should have tested it to yeah. see how far he would have went. I yeah. got to start, like, making myself. <laughs> My God, yeah. I'd be right back. Manny don't take no for an answer from nobody. I don't even know. What's your sign? What's your birthday? My sign? Oh, I'm Scorpio. 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 I must say, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Let's so, educate you on your sign. So I'm September. September what? 21st. 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 I think it's a Virgo. You're a Virgo. Libra? So I'm, I'm Muslim. We, we don't. <laughs> well, I'm Muslim. Give me, give me. Salams. Look. Salams. <laughs> so. Salams. What's that? You don't know what salams. <laughs> how much? How many years have you been on this earth? Come on, if you what know, is it? Do you know what salams mean? Assalamu alaikum, my brother. I know assalamu alaikum, my brother. I know assalamu alaikum, my brother. But like the salams, you didn't like some gang shit. Like yo, peace, peace. Okay, peace. So salams. I never seen it like in that. Yeah, it's like kind of like a sling. My bad, my bad. Yeah, come on. And then for the viewers at home, they probably like what he said. Like you know, I'm trying to get it. You know, that's my job. I'm trying to get it for the people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rocky. Don't be snapping. Salams mean. It means hmm. peace. It means right. like shalom, shalom. I like that. So are non-Muslims allowed to say that or no? Or salam? You can say peace. It's just it's Arabic. Okay. It's just like you know, um, you say God, Allah. Uh, what else? Alhamdulillah. All praise be to God. Um, inshallah, God willing. Like even Christians, like in um, other countries, they say inshallah. Okay. Because it means um, God willing. Like okay. 
You think it's like a I feel like I heard that before. It's a different one. So are you going to touch base on the Muslim thing in the documentary as well? We're what's up with the Muslim stories. community in Binghamton? Like you touched on that. Okay, so like basically, here's what happened. When when people come from other countries, they look at um, black people, um, they paint a, a wide brush on all of us. So like you get a lot of people that come from other countries that are racist against black people. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because like we live in a country that is racist against immigrants, which we should, we're really all under the same umbrella. Right. So like... Um, you, you do get some Muslims that are racist against black people. So, like, in this, we're also going to reach out to the Muslim community, communities, because there's a lot of Muslim communities, and we're going to talk about how this is all our fight together. Okay. So, so the main purpose of the, docu of the documentary seems to be to shed light on racial... Yeah, so the main point of the documentary, we're going to be covering a lot of um, cases here, like um, Broome County Jail. Like, all there's, like, how many deaths? 11, 12... So, right. we're be, so we're talking like injustices. Yeah, yeah, injustices here. Prejudice. I think that uh, one of the one of the main reasons of the documentary is to show the real Binghamton. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not the Binghamton that these white people always show us. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Like yeah, you know what I mean? And like you see, just they posted something on Facebook talking about Binghamton was rated fifth in the Northeast for places to live because of affordable housing and because of the and that's not booming even true. downtown yeah. scene. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We yeah. oh, yeah. need to find places to live <laughs> yeah. in real so, life. Yeah. These white people got it totally fucked up. And I don't mean to say white people, but it's the majority of this community is a predominantly white community. Mm -hmm. So, But we when, out here too, though. Yeah, we really no, no, are. We that's why here. this yeah. is important. Yeah. Yeah. But I it's agree. like this. If you put more peanut butter on your sandwich than jelly, you're not mm -hmm. even going to call it a peanut butter and jelly. You feel <laughs> right. Yeah. So they're not calling it what it is. <laughs> even time. though we from this area. Yeah, the, this this terminology is killing me. Peanut butter and jelly, bro. It made sense. Yeah, like, kill me with the watermelon. Uh, now you see, got the peanut butter and jelly going on. Like, I would explain that. That was something 20 minutes. Just explain oh, what you just man. said a second. Because it's, it, like, it's a simple way to break it down. It's a simple thing people understand. It's called a metaphor or an analogy <laughs> or a terminology for a reason. Because at the end of the day, some people don't understand it. It's like, right. it, you know what I mean? Oil and water don't mix, they say. But in this community, you got... 70% water, 30% oil. You feel me? And we wondering why, yo, why the oil got such a hard time in this fucking community. But and the reason being, excuse my language, no, the reason ahead. being is because we get watered down. Right. Feel me? We continually get watered down. And so we wondering what's the issue? How can we make a change? How can we get our voices heard? We continue to talk about social economics, all these things for black people, but we don't realize that these people making these decisions going to make these decisions with or without us. You know what I'm saying? This system is not made to benefit us in any way, shape, or form. Okay. And until we could get behind that in solidarity and realize mm -hmm. that, they're going to keep fucking with us and keep playing with us like chess yeah, pieces. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the truth is the truth is the truth. When I was in Atlanta, it, the truth is the same thing in Atlanta as it is here, except there is predominantly black. You feel me? But white people make the decisions for that predominantly black community. Mm -hmm. It's not like they're making all the decisions for themselves. Mm -hmm. So we got an issue that's, so that's in place and it's systemic. This system that's in place in Binghamton is the same system that's in place in Atlanta, is the same system that's in place in Africa. You feel me? And, and Jamaica and all these different places throughout the world. And until we can focus on that system as a whole and come into solidarity about that, we're not making no changes. Because Binghamton to change don't mean Syracuse change. Right. Don't mean this place change. Don't mean that place change. Right. If we're the only people that say we free, niggas are still oppressed. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if one man is oppressed, no man is free. Right. So with that right. said, it, it's not even, like I said, I bring it back to white people because they have the privilege to not feel the amount of oppression that we feel naturally. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So... They have an ignorance that they can just walk around and not experience what we experience on a day-to-day -day basis. And they never know what it's like. You feel me? Mm -hmm. When I was down south, I held a door open for a white man. He had a Confederate flag on the back of his truck. I'm the type of person, if I'm walking in the store, I'm not just going to be on some asshole shit. I held the door open for him. You know what he did? Gave me an actual nod. If I did that for a white man, I hear they look at me like I owed it to him. You feel me? Right. And we talk about the difference in the north was free, the south was enslaved, but they got more southern hospitality and more humility in the south than they do up here in the north. Great. But they play this game and they smile on our face. They've been stabbing us on our back at the same time. Wow. So, wow. You know what I mean? So the, the, the thing that I'm addressing really with this community is if I'm using a metaphor, if I'm using the terminology, an analogy, whatever I'm using, it's a true, yeah. it's a true fact when you put it statistically side by side. Right. If I put more peanut butter on a sandwich than jelly, well, I can't well, call it no well. damn peanut butter and jelly. It's a peanut butter sandwich, you feel me? And what right. we live in is white supremacy. 
You know what I'm saying? The jelly ain't there. The sauce ain't there. The seasoning ain't there. It's salt and pepper. Simple but so, in a problem so big, where do we start? You know what I mean? Where it, do we start? There's many places to start, but that's a whole other <laughs> conversation. Where do we know? What's one place oh where God. we can yeah. all Here, start? Here's Mobilization, strategy, uh, real, realizing to have trust in each other because Unity. the left brain is Unity. what created history that we know but today. The right Unity. brain is what our ancestors do. So yeah, that's why they had oral tradition. They didn't write history down. Ancient African indigenous religions, they did not write history down. White people started writing history down to co-op history and to make us not believe in each other's own truths. So if I tell you something from the bottom of my heart, I don't got no reason to lie to you. That's what our ancestors knew in each other. They right. loved each other, they cared about each other, they nurtured each other, they had right. no reason to it's not trust unity. each other. Because they said, yo, we gotta come together. You know what I'm saying? It's something wicked pushing on us. And right. if this continue to push on us, we are gonna break. And that's what happened. We broke because we didn't have trust in each other continually. And so now we're being faced with that same opportunity to come back together. And if we take this opportunity and come together, then we're going to be stronger than anybody. And I'll put my life on the line and say that because they don't like unity at the end of the day. But I'm going to preach that thing for the rest of the unity every day. Unity is the key. Feel me? Unity is what makes community because you can't have common unity without community. You can't have community without common unity. That means yeah. having common ground, knowing where we come mm -hmm. from, knowing what we stand for, Let's knowing that all our ancestors time. come from the same root. I'm saying this is the tree Let's of life. We all come time. from the same root. I'm saying that's why the apple can't fall far from the tree. The leaves don't fall far from the tree, no matter how yeah. far it roll down a hill, because it's going to come back around. It's a full circle. You know what I mean? So we got to get with the program now, and we have to teach people the truth. Because people have learned and been and, and been misconstrued and confused by nothing but lies. You know what I'm saying? That they've been told by people who don't care about them, who don't care about me, you, any of us. You know what I mean? And if we care about mm -hmm. each other, we got to tell each other the truth. Tell each other we care about each other. Tell you, yo, I love you. From the bottom of my heart, I got no hate. If I hate anybody and I'm working on not hating anybody, it's these people that continually oppress us. If it's anybody who I got hate for, it's nobody in this room. Right. It's this system that put us... And, and that's what create anger yeah. in us. You yeah. feel me? That's mm -hmm. what oppress us. That would make us ready to explode on each other. That's why they call it black on black violence. Because we live in an oppressed neighborhood. And when we walk outside and we look at each other funny, we'd be like, who are you grilling like that? What you want to do right now? <laughs> right. That's how that so starts. Right. It's not because we hate yeah. each other. It's because yeah. they oppress us and we bump into each other with that bad energy. And that chemistry right. explodes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So until we can tame that chemistry and calm that chemistry and love each other and care about each other and be cool with each other, we're going to keep trying to fight fire with fire. Some, if I throw a cold glass of water in your face, I'm like, yo, bro, cool off. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what it comes down to. That means I love you. Gotta, that don't mean I'm trying yeah, to hurt you. Love that means I'm trying to give you something yeah. refreshing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you take it as disrespect, that's your pride and your ego harmed right now. Yeah. But that's accountability. That means holding you accountable on your integrity, too. The same way I would want you to hold me accountable on mine if I made a mistake. Because I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know all the answers. So I expect people to be able to be like, yo, you know you was bugging. But if I'm not right. bugging, don't tell me I'm bugging. <laughs> and that's that one. Yes. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's so perfect. Period. What they say. That's it. Oh man. So, it's Manny, like, what is all of our roles going to be? Like, you know, just putting like, our puzzle pieces together. That's really what it is. Like, but what about on the documentary? Like, because I, right, so I was waiting to meet up with you because it's like, so what am I supposed to do? Because I know you were saying that we need to just set up our camera and just do it, but I'm like, that's like awkward for me in the house. Oh, so like basically, so like what's our we're going to like, be we're going to be getting a lot of interviews, like stuff that comes up, like a lot of situations are just coming up. Mm -hmm. So like, um, we're going to be covering the protests. There's about like eight total, right? We're going to cover mm -hmm. that. We're covering Chris and Nicole's story. We're going to do a backstory on her. We're going to do a backstory on uh, Talon. We're gonna do be I get backstory? Yeah, you want backstory? We got we got you. We got backstory. <laughs> I wasn't even going to get one, guys. If I didn't even ask I'm for I'm sorry. It. I'm sorry. Man, wow. Manny's slipping, bro. I don't know, man. Like, that's why Manny like, got all of us here. The reason yeah. Manny harassed all of us is because we helping Manny out. Manny got yeah. dreams that's bigger than the moon. And we helping that's Manny good. to realize that you got to shoot for the moon to land amongst the... You got to shoot for the stars and land amongst the moon or whatever, yeah. however they say it. But <laughs> yeah. Manny got nothing Period. but good intentions. Yeah. So, so Manny thing, is is dreaming, and yeah. that's a beautiful thing. And we just try to hold this vision up for each other and make sure but that I'm we all can prosper. We're going to get so a backstory. We got you. What's the backstory like, this, about? This is why I'm saying. Like, we're on two seasons right now. That's what we're thinking of. Like, uh -huh. just right now. But really, this thing may not possibly end. Two seasons? At least, right now. So right. it's going to be a TV show. This is not this a documentary. Like, he, he, this is like a docu true life. Austin called docu series. Docu docu series. Like, yes. Right. But this is like, yes. we're talking about, but a docu series don't really have the seasons. 
Does it? Does, does it? it? Just have, like, I don't know what to call it. I just know it that is, we're going to be this filming. Is like, right. This is like, like true like, life. You guys know true life. I'm um, addicted to food. Like, true life. Da, da. Yeah. It's like everyone's a different negative. It's going to be like Tiger King, but Bangtan. Tiger King? <laughs> 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 Tiger King nah. me. Come on. Nah. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's going to be way more professional. Um, Back to the question is, we're still at the root. Like, we're, we're planting the seed, and we're waiting for it to grow. There's a lot of stuff that we got to cover, a lot of stuff that we're going to be covering. So, like, there's a lot of stuff that I don't know. There's a lot of stuff telling to know, a lot of stuff that you don't know. But right. we come together, we're going to figure it out, you know. So, we're taking all our, imagine it like a cookout, mm-hmm. your barbecue, potluck. I'm bringing the mashed potatoes. Right. Tannin's bringing Everybody the potato bring chips. I'm bringing the bring mac, bro. Tannin's uh, bringing the mac. Big mac. Tom's bringing the chicken. So it's I'm like bringing the, uh, the beets and the rutabagas, boy. No, <laughs> you better keep that home. Well, nobody wants beets and rutabagas. <laughs> yeah, we do. We need to want it. We need to want some beets and rutabagas. I don't even know what Y'all that is. I know what beets are, but... Y'all don't want any vegetables? I no, mean, not. not really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, At least I, like, I, I, I be trying to lie They say if you want to be strong like I the do. bull, you don't eat the bull. You got to eat what the bull eats. Right. Oh. That's what I had heard. That's why I'm trying to pretend I'm vegan. Be, before I forget, be I want to ask you guys, everybody in this room can answer. Did you guys know Bamson was KKK headquarters? I didn't yes. know that. I did yes. Know did you, yes. you knew that? You knew that big time. You knew. Know that. Did you also know that Binghamton was home to a maroon colony prior to the KKK orders being here, which was uh, African American people that was freed from slavery with Native American indigenous coming That's together. That's fire. You know what I'm saying? That's fire. I, I, now I, that Binghamton I did not know. The home of a maroon colony. Yep. It's in the Binghamton book and the Broome County book. Actually, they put a little bit of information in it. So even a historian of like the area probably knows some of that information, but it's not something that's popular information and even they don't want you to really know that to know your own history you know what i'm saying but yeah the the uh underground railroad went all the way from virginia all the way through pennsylvania and it came through through here right, through too. Bampton, okay. Okay. Station, right on top of it. all the way to yeah. auburn and, and rochester I didn't even know that. and Canada. Well, that if you go to the binghamton police station literally they say the underground right? railroad yes, right in do. the entrance yes, do. the they built right the police down station down right on top of it yes it does they did that on purpose no no when you think about it though harriet tubman's harriet tubman's home is about 50 miles away from here in auburn where harriet tubman lived when she finally made it to the north about 50 miles from here frederick douglas is a well-known was a well-known resident of Rochester. Mm, you feel me? Yeah. And then many of our family members have scattered throughout the way and made their own legacies throughout time. Right. So upstate, okay. throughout Binghamton, Ithaca, Elmira, all these places. You know what I mean, shout so, out to upstate New York. The whole 607 is a, is a, is a fertile ground for what happened, and that's why it's an energy point right now, especially for what's going on, because a lot of people don't know the history right. that we had and what they the did to folks, enslave us and hurt us. What are like all history. the moving parts that have to come together to formulate a documentary? Right? Because we're not talking like these episodes that I do. We're talking like a documentary. So so what are all the movies? A parts? documentary. Um, I watch a lot of documentaries. Like, Me too. Um, I love them. I, I, I just do it. I'm, I'm boring. Uh, <laughs> it's not boring. It's awesome. We're boring then. No, so, I know. Um, <laughs> Nobody hates me. No Did you just ask what documentaries is good? Huh? No, like how, how, how does <laughs> no. that documentary have to happen? Yeah. Oh. So for a documentary ha- have to happen, um, basically we need a cameraman. We need an editor. We need people that are going to be like the main characters of the documentary, which we have. We have the main characters. We need um, funds because, like, for it to happen with this, we ultimately want this to hit Netflix. Right. The, not not just for not for clout, but so it puts more. No, it's the uh, uh, it's the pressure. plugging people in. That's what it, we're it, doing. Pl- we're plugging pl- people in. Yeah. Binghamton, you know yeah, what's happening here? In. It's a vision. Like, yeah. what's happening out here? We're putting, putting, putting pressure here. on the politicians. Right. If so we can create accountability here in our community, yes. then we know that others can create accountability in their community. Yes. And if we can show the steps in which mm-hmm. we took to start that process mm-hmm. and to mobilize and yes. strategize and to get people into seats yes. so that they can have asses in seats as a lady at the protest at Endicott yeah, said. Get asses too. in seats. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. She was yeah. a 67 year old What happened out there in Endicott? Facts. You guys were out there getting footage, right? Yeah, yeah. What happened? Okay, so what happened out there in Endicott? Basically, I was just recording. I was like, I mean, I'm with the back documentary and I just started recording. Big Tom, mm-hmm. um, he, no, so let me start. <laughs> I, I pulled up and I just started recording from the get-go. I pulled up um, Sulka's like 
Shout to Salco. Sorry, that's my girl. Shout to Salco. Shout to Salco. She's just doing her thing. Right. She's, you know. Uh, Black Lives Matter. Right. Black Lives we Matter. Already know the the I, we are, we already know the chance. Yeah, I'm pulling up on the live. Like, I pull the live up, and I see, like, the motorcycle people there. I'm like, oh, shit, let me get there. Let me get there. I pull up. <laughs> I'm already heated, like, when I get there. And I pull up. She's, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Crowd trying to matter. And then, um, <laughs> I'm just recording, by the way. And I'm recording. And then, the, you see it in the trailer, the guy goes, shut up, bitch. What? And then he walks away, and then his buddy is, like, laughing and smiling. I got, like, zoom in on their face, everything. Are clear you shot. Shut up, bitch. And then, um, the dude in the black. The dude in the black. You heard about the, the how he got kicked out the Legion, though? He got kicked out the Legion. Yeah. yeah, it was a guy. That's same, it's, it's the same, same guy. guy. Wow. Yeah. The same, same guy. guy. The same yeah. guy. Yeah. And then. Later That's on. the dude who's trying to talk to and me. And you got this on camera? I got, have, I got, I, l- listen, what? I got two oh, terabytes on that. You gotta come, yo, you two. wasn't gonna give me no backstory. I don't get no camera time. You, you're Nothing. here. You're like, you're in the documentary Man, right this now. Is this great. instant. I know, but this so, is also plugged in. I always do this. I want to do what so, you're doing. So, basically, um, I was recording everything. Um, what transpired is that, um, at some point, Big Tom got talking with this like guy in the red. If you, I made another trailer ah, just on it's him. So hilarious! And it's it's the guy angry. If you guys ever seen um Inside Out, they have the emotions. Somebody's there's like an in, there's yes. like a happy Sad. emotion, sappy. So this guy looked just <laughs> like angry. He had the big red shirt on, and um I made like a a, a document or a trailer on him. They're going to tear it down because it's Disney or Pixar. They're going to see this, and they're like, oh, we can't have this. So if we get sued, we're all getting sued. By the way. No. Um, so big time got the look. I'm like, never mind. I don't yeah. want the camera time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leave me out of it. So big time, explain what happened in that conversation. I'm just recording him. So. <laughs> nah, I just seen that the uh, people that were there, that were counter protesters, um, that were like trying to incite drama and just wow. yelling slurs and just. Being racist, you know, because you mean? guys was in Endicott, too. Yeah, we were in Endicott, you know, wow. what I mean? so Endicott, y'all need to take accountability for that. Oh, they, they, they uh, prisoner of war jackets and they veterans, and all they're all veterans, right? They're mm-hmm. supposed to veterans, some biker gang, and uh, what? so you know, they're just being disrespectful, so it got heated and. I'm always the the person that want to try to separate it before I see it pop off. You know what I'm right. saying? If I can keep it from popping off, I'm going to try to keep it from popping off. But once it pop off, you best believe it's popped off. And now I hope you on my side because if not, then you're getting popped off on. So, yes. And that's exactly the type Perfect of energy time. it was. And I was literally I'm trying, trying to, to keep with this guy. the peace in keep that situation because it's just like one of those situations is volatile. It's elders there that's at the protest supporting us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, that was beautiful. It's just... Not that type of uh, situation where you want to see anybody get hurt. And and regardless of the fact that they, they're counter-protesting us, it's like, yo, y'all aren't going to listen to nothing nobody's saying. So it, it hit me that if there are vets, you feel me, that I know um, I got veterans in my family, you feel me, that fought for this country. I'm saying I have veterans that are black that fought in the Civil War. So if you're a veteran of any shape or form, you got to respect the process. You know what I mean? So I asked them. What country did y'all fight for? Because I felt like if we're all Americans, mm-hmm. why are you here standing against us right now when we're trying to get our voices heard? Yeah. Why are you standing against us? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at that point, after I, I said believe. that, a group of them were trying to talk to me and ask me questions. And oh, I had saw that. Being yeah. the type of person that could have just that. easily been like, you know what? Nah. I felt huh, like, you I know, let me give you a little okay. bit of positive energy yeah. because... You opened the door to educate them young yes. men. Yeah. And that's what happened. <laughs> that they, is they beautiful because no that is what needs to happen. What was yeah. going on. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. Somebody called them. Called and said yeah, that somebody that lied to them. They said, we're trying to destroy the monuments or something like that. But you see, this is why we need people that are willing to have the conversation because so many people are They felt stupid too, Oh, no, I'm not talking to them. When they left, they had their heads down. They tucked their tails between their legs and left because they looked stupid. Why were we there? Why were we there? We were there protesting injustice, protesting the fact that the elected officials in Endicott can make racial and 
prejudice statements when wow. they're elected officials. You yeah. know what I mean? You shouldn't have any capacity to discriminate, to have any discriminatory practice in any elected official's capacity or any business capacity. That's you should not allow that. Especially because if we say something, we get fired. We and get I'm a fucking preschool teacher. Also, like, you know what I'm saying? Right, you say exactly. something the wrong way, you're anti-Semitic, you're this, you're that, the third. They, they say anything wants. about right. us. We don't have no protections. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They could drive down the street. Yo, yo, whatever they want out the window at us, and we call the police, the police show up and give us a harder time <laughs> right. than they would have given <laughs> them. Off, and they make us feel like, yo, next time this happens, I don't even want to deal with no police. So that's the reason the lack of trust happened for the police anyways. Because right. why when I leave, why when I see a police officer, if I do something polite, you know what I'm saying, like give you the right of way, you look at me like I'm a criminal. Or you feel me, you're on your bike. Like literally, I seen bike cops coming out and I stopped the car to let them go. Because the last thing I'm going to do is keep going and have them try to fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be the good Samaritan, good citizen to stop the whip and let them go. But you looking at me in my eyes like I stole something from you. You feel me? But I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm a community member. I've worked with at-risk youth. I've worked with OPWDD. I've worked with all different types of groups. And you don't have no respect for me. That's why I don't do respectability po politics or, or, or any of that. You know what I mean? I learned against yeah. it because you don't respect me at the end of the day for any of my accolades or my accomplishments. And like I said in when I began, I dropped out of high school. I worked my way in the positions that people that dropped out of high school could never get. You know what I'm saying? So for you not to have respect for me and look at me like a human being, that means that I don't give a fuck about your respectability politics because if you're going to do that to me, you're going to do the same thing to Kingston, you're going to do the same thing to Talon, you're going to do the same thing to any one of us. You know what I'm saying? And I'm lighter, so in my life I've had light skin privilege, but at the end of the day it's still the same thing when it comes to racism. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Talk about the John Solak situation. Who's that? Oh, Who's man. That? That was the man, that was the racist white man that was running for the school board. Uh, oh, you feel me? He was out yeah, there too. The racist him. white he man, yeah, he was at the Endy Cop there, protest yeah. too, he but he was there. also, the situation you're talking about was wow. a wreck, right? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, John Solak so, looks like this girl off the of Ice Age. So the thing about John Solak, right? Because prior, <laughs> to, that, prior to that day at Red Park, I had never seen that individual before in my life. Only thing that I had heard was his comments that he had made. I seen the comments that he had made toward Talon, and I seen the comment well, that he had made what did he say toward. To you? Toward Dominic family as John? well. Excuse me? Yeah, John, yeah. He didn't really say nothing to me. I had made a post like a couple years ago, mm -hmm. you know, about, you know, my lifestyle of mm -hmm. hustling and all right. that. And it was actually in the newspaper because um, the press and son interviewed me on it. Mm -hmm. And I told them my story. And he took an article mm -hmm. that I I quoted, and right. he put it in his, and tried to like flip it and make Are it seem like criminalized. Yeah. yeah. So what I did was I yeah. reposted it. I reposted his post and was like, "It's funny that you post that because that's that's my words. Like right. I'm I'm admitting that, and you're right. trying to, you know, criminate me over that. Mm -hmm. But that's something that I admit that you right. can't. That so you, thanks yeah. for helping me tell my story, bro. Right. You yeah. know, and that's kind of what happened. And then wow. when and then when they had the um the event at the the rec park, I mm -hmm. ran into him. I saw him, and before I even walked up to him, I was looking at him like, "Oh, that's the guy." Wow. So <laughs> that's my the mom, guy. you know, she's filled and with the Holy mom. Spirit. She's like, "Talent, no, don't go over there. Just don't, <laughs> just stay away." <laughs> and I'm like, "No, I just want to introduce. I don't. I didn't, I actually didn't even introduce myself. I just walked up and stood next to. I think it was you." and a couple other guys that he was trying to record, doing the same thing he was doing. And that was the day he actually took so his phone. So he acted like a character. Yeah. Right yeah. before he Basically, took his phone, he out there with his phone. I walked he up to him in the protest. and I said, yo, I walked up yeah, to him, I put my arm on his shoulder, and then um, a couple a couple of the white kids walked away. And then I think he said, this talent Thomas right here. And then he goes, oh, nice to finally meet you. And I'm just like, hey, how you doing? I, th I think all I said was one word to him, and then he went on Facebook the next day and was like, "Well, I met, finally met Tyler. He seems like a pretty nice guy." And Are I'm you just kidding saying, me? Yo, yeah, yo. Are you I didn't say lying? anything to him. Yeah. Wow. That, I, didn't, I didn't even catch that part. Yeah, yeah. no, that, that no. happened. I, I, I see him at the, the charges. Thing? He tried to criminate you. He tried to press grand larceny in the fourth. He tried to uh, get me charged with grand larceny in the fourth, which is a felony. And now the reason being because he was at Rec Park when he had no business to be there because obviously he doesn't stand in solidarity right. with this community or know the meaning of why we were there to even be there for us. So when I was finished talking at one of the think tank groups and I had turned around, he was coming up to me from left field pointing his phone in my face. 
And it just gave me that flashback of the comments that I had seen that he posted towards talent and the comments that I had seen that he posted towards Dom about how it was a hoax and this, that's th towards his family. Dominic. Yeah. Wow. Wait, wait, explain. Mad I don't understand. I mean, the so the John Solak dude just making inflammatory comments towards a lot of things, and one of the things that he made comment toward was Dom's family who passed away. And I didn't know Dom personally, but a lot of people that I know and care about knew Dom, and I knew what he stood for. And so when he was there in the park, I didn't know it was him at first. But when I asked him what his name was, he said John. That's why I snatched his phone. And it was as simple as it was as simple as if you're not here for us, then you can't be here. You know what I mean? And that's the stance that I take on any of those situations because if you're not here for us, then leave. You right. know what I mean? Because we have right. something more important to do than wow. be distracted or have yeah. to deal with deflections that, that you're trying John to post up. the one who was recording them kids over there. Me personally, I don't think they had no Rona over there. He was over there <laughs> harassing them kids, and one of them said, I have corona, and started coughing on him because they uh, wanted him to leave. They I'm wanted him crying. to leave. I watched the whole yeah. YouTube Why video. Is he he crazy? They wanted him to leave. So he's, he's like, I, I, I got corona. You know what I'm saying? And they turned he's around and made a smart. whole report like they got oh corona over there. Don't know them kids got no corona. They oh just made that God. report off of John Why is he okay. You never know where everything going on with these little and kids and these Wayfair like and all these board. different things. And that's how, that's how I'm funny. Yeah. All this, these he's tests, running for Binghamton School Board, not in the past. He's running for Binghamton School The most diverse one in town. He lost. He lost. He took a hell. He's got tested. They said they tested positive for COVID. But none of them kids got tested. This is crazy. Yeah, and one, I'm a nurse, so like you can't really say anybody. You're a nurse? Yeah, I'm a nurse. I got, yeah, I got a nurse, an electrical engineer. So um, you can't That's say awesome. you can't release anybody's medical records. That's a fact. It's called a HIPAA. You, so <laughs> you can't HIPAA say law. you can't say somebody tested positive for COVID right. without you, their permission. So they to don't say somebody say has COVID is ever. is a lie. Mm -hmm. You know. Wow. So okay. So as a whole, the documentary is it going to be funny? Sad. I think it's going to be all around. Yeah. All around. Emotional. Are we gonna it's going to be real it's life. Good. It's good that you it's say gonna that. It's going to be a depiction it's, of what yes, real life is if you're a person of color in America. Because like right, you're going right now with the protest, that you're seeing a whole bunch of people just yelling at people. Mm -hmm. And like the protest at Endicott, we got Soka in the mic like saying um, the Scottish court can't um what is it what is um, it i know it. i know exactly what you're talking about but it's pretty she, long. She, she's saying that parts to it. and then um at the end of that i was like let me get these real life interactions with people just like big tom giving dap to his, his right. buddy um soka talking to like a man that he met she met at the thing and she's like showing he, he's showing her the flip phone that he has and like real life interactions so we're showing that people that we're not just people yelling out there at the end of the day we all still have jobs. We all still have kids. We all still have families to support. We're just real life people, and like that's what they don't see. So we're capturing that and we're showing right. it to them. Like, boom, this is who boom. we are. We're not crazy. We're just average people like you. And um, now, I think we all crazy because if you're I mean, not crazy in this insane ass world, then you just insane as the bad I think, guys. I think so you're, you gotta be I think, a little bit crazy. No, you know I think mean? I think you're crazy if you're not crazy though. Like if you're sitting home and you're watching like another man die and get him his, like choked out alive on and camera, you're not going and crazy. you're just sitting there like, okay, it's Tuesday, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> like, you're, no, you're crazy. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, your right. human instinct is, is you have no heart, you have no call, you have no yeah. cortisol. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's hard. To so what are we? What am I gonna call this episode? Every episode of Plugged In has a name. So what's this episode gonna be called? I'm not gonna name. The I don't doc, even know what the name for the, the documentary doc, is. The doc, like, I just named the, the movement. movement. That's the, the name of the documentary? No. What oh. about the first wave? That's the, the name of the documentary? I don't know. He, he said he said it straight. Austin said a straight through. No. Um, the I first like, wave. How about Brigham Tons the Bingham Ton? <laughs> try to get some money. Here we go. <laughs> Yo, um, big what do you want to tell? What do you think is so in this episode right now? Plugged in. No, okay, so, okay. Let's we don't put have the a name question of the documentary. into two. What's the name of the documentary? We don't let's have a name. On that. That's more important. We don't. You don't have a name. We don't the have a Binghamton name. The Binghamton documentary. Yeah, Call that's, that's, what it is. Okay. That's that's let's that's what I thought it was. I thought that's yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. But it has to be something. Dot dot. What's that? The colon and then the Binghamton documentary. You feel me? Yeah. Like like I think Khalif's Browder thing is like time. 
dot dot a colleague brought her story something like mm-hmm. that you feel me like we're you gonna make it all wrong we gonna, I mean, the first yeah, way we gotta make it dot, dot, i think we got enough dot, brains dot, in here to figure that out the first way where's the other ways how many ways is there gonna be in total there's the probably way, be a lot of ways because once we do this other people are gonna start doing it right so we're the first wave. Oh, it's a lot of ways because okay. the ripple effect. The first wave. Okay, yeah, the first wave. Okay. The first, the first wave. wave. Okay. The first the wave. The first wave. Dot dot. The bands of documentary. I one reason the bands of documentary because there's a lot of old people that are like, okay, what, where do we find this? You know, you go to right. YouTube. Easy. The bands of documentary is close. Right. That's true. It's very important that you pop up when people type you up on YouTube. And whatnot. Okay, so what about this episode? I'm gonna call the episode. I'm, I got the name of the episode. Okay. Scratch that question. Okay. okay. So when can we see the first rollouts of these? Oh, episodes? the first, like the first episode for the um, documentary. Mm-hmm. We already have what it's gonna be. Now it's the process of just putting it together. So like, Austin, Nico, you can chime in on this because this is where like you guys are the editors and stuff like that. Man, I gotta go out and shoot a whole bunch of shit. And no, you know we we we, we, back together. we have all that. Shit. Man, you probably gonna yell at me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, gonna I'm gonna show up at your house. I'm gonna show up at your house. So like basically, we have all the footage. Now it's just like getting it in the studio and just chopping it up and say this part belongs here. Okay, that's good that you have the footage. Just yeah, yeah. So no, we, we, we have the interview planned. Basically, we just got to show up to this person's house, record a clip, and then just... Shout out to Kyle. Um, Yo, can are you... you going to... Oh, I heard you. My fault. Um, nah, are you going down cut, cut that part out. We can't say who it is. I'm going to drop that in the episode. Nah, he didn't live out here um, last <laughs> I knew. So that's why I was, I was curious. Nah, nah. How yeah, was yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. Is he coming out here? So basically, the man that we don't know is that... Uh, because they're going to cut that, that, that name out. So basically, the, the person in the first interview, he said he agreed to it. It's a situation that happened here. He said, like, yo, yo. Oh, okay. I know you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking uh, about. Don't say too much. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Now, my whole point was, is, is he coming down Yeah, he's here? coming down here. Right, so basically, like, for the first episode is that we're going to do a scene. It's going to be a dramatic scene. And then, like, right, it's going right. to give. Is it going to be like a reenactment? No, no. It's going to give him some time to get back here for, like, the interview and stuff. But okay. it's going to be dramatic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We can't leave too much. We can't. can't all right. These so soon. these interviews, you come into our house. Yeah. You gonna yeah. come come to all of our house? Yeah. Like for the jail interviews, we can't say, "Hey, like you know, come to our house." We, we got jail make interviews too. Yeah, the families oh, of the jails. Lit. Like the families of the jails that passed away. If you guys know people, I want to say this before I forget. If you guys know people who had experience that are afraid to like speak up, hit up the, the um the documentary that we got an email. It's called the bank. We'll drop it. I don't know. There's like zeros and threes in there. But hit that email up. Um, we got ways to hide your face, blur your, change your voice and everything. Hit nice. that email out. Like um, gangway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, we're going to be interviewing the jail families in their homes. And we're going to be covering their stories, the backstories and stuff like that. So, like, you know, it's going to get okay, juicy. Okay, so when he says jail families, I think this is like the victims of those lives that have been lost in the jail. Mm-hmm. Their families. Their families, even their close friends, you know, mm-hmm. really covering their stories. I like it. I like it a lot. So, just like, you know, give me a call when you're ready to come do mine, bro. Yeah. I, I, I always do all the interviewing, man. Like, yeah. somebody asked me some, man. Yeah. Okay, so we're... we're no, not let's right ask, now. No, let's ask no, you right. Not right No, now. let's do it right now. <laughs> I'm just I joking, wanted, by the way. I want it. I got, like, a nice, it. plugged-in little <laughs> office at my house. It's really cute. I want too. my interview in. Are you... Are you listening to me? No, I'm listening to you. No, nobody ever listens you, to no, me. It's I, fine. No, I, it's I totally you said you do fine. the interviews. You got the stuff set up in your house, and no. I do it there. No, it's... He go with it. He's that's it. what she it. said, right? You use beard it's oil? Yeah. That's that. That's the... Ooh, that's the beard that's been growing since, like, 13. Tell him. You had a beard Tell since 13? 13. The one whisker, the two whiskers. My father had a beard. My father, father had a beard. <laughs> Runs in his jeans. <laughs> period. Like my jeans run strong. Like my cousins look like twins. Like my kids' wow. cousins. Wow, the cousins—they look like twins. Yeah, they look like twins. Their jeans run strong. All right, so tell everybody yeah, about y'all the giveaway. Definitely got some strong ass jeans. We, we, yeah. Yeah. Wow, all it's really serious. Like, yeah. like my brother, I can walk out the room. My brother can come sit down. You would think it was me. Like, no joke. Does that get like annoying? four of them. Or not. Yeah, people walk up to me. They're like, "Yo, you know, you're still roughing those, roughing those games." Cause one brother, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm still roughing those. Yo, you still selling art? You still doing your art thing? Like, yeah, I'm doing that too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you still <laughs> playing yeah, basketball? Yeah, like, cause after a while, it just gets old, and it's like, okay. I'm done correcting people. Me. Yeah, I play basketball. I do it all. Y'all look alike. <laughs> That's too funny. All right, so the giveaway. Tell us about the giveaway. Okay, what do so the giveaway. Do? So like for the giveaway, one, you have to subscribe. 
to the YouTube channel. To the channel. YouTube channel. What's the name of the YouTube channel? The YouTube channel is just to type in the band's documentary or just pop up. You'll see Okay. Something. You have to subscribe. To you, subscribe. you have to share your favorite trailer to your Facebook page. Um, after you share your favorite, and you have to share the live that we just did to the Facebook page. So and you got to put $50,000 on the GoFundMe too, right? No, no, you don't have to do that. Because <laughs> like, they Come on, Tom, just... it's already confusing. Okay, so like, um, so you have to share the live that we did. We have, you have to share your favorite trailer, and then, um, it's a point system. So the more, the more comments that you're, um, the trailer that you get that you share, it's, it's 0.5, which half a point for a comment. And then for a share, it's 20 points. So whoever has the most points in this um, system, in this, there's three tiers for the gift. The um, tier one we have, um, what are it? Um, 2K21 Mamba Edition. This is special edition. Top tier. Top tier. Top tier. Like, Top tier. The regular edition is like it'll go on Amazon for like 50, 60 bucks. The Mamba Edition is hundred dollars. They, I don't know if they're going to be releasing a specified number of Mamba editions. So um, the, the Mama Edition is um, crossed generation. So when the PS5 comes out, everybody's going to be playing the PS5. And there's two games in here. There's, you hear a, this, Nico? there's one for the PS4, and then there's one for the PS5. So when the PS5 comes out, you can sell the other one and just get it off. Like, really. Um, so that's, that's, we have Chris and Nicole. Explain your artwork. We got some artwork by Chris and Nicole. What, which one? The one she only wants. She getting money. She getting money. Yeah, she get money. We have her top tier. Top tier painting. Okay. It was a yeah. black woman. She, she had same. gold accessories, a gold earring. She had a nice black afro. Yeah. It was some yep. flowers, beautiful flowers around, beautiful painting. Mm -hmm. It was all glossy. The reason you why you don't want to touch it with your oily fingertips. Her, her, Ain't that what they say with her the paintings? Are very valuable. Right. Like this is something that like right now she's selling them for forty bucks. No, 45 that, bucks. that one was forty. Yeah, don't get her numbers. She got four thousand dollars. Don't get the numbers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You getting it in tape? Don't get the numbers. I bought a piece from her for four thousand dollars, right? You heard me? Nah, I'm leaving. Get it resold. Get it resold. Yeah, that's that's our second thing. Like nah, 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 that's our second thing. Like and we're all going to be celebrities, painting. by the way. So yeah, just, yeah, you want yeah, that painting. Top we're all going to sign it. Drew that's Lewis the, uh, is going to be famous. Look. That's the, uh, yes, that's that. That's top that's tier. That's shit. That's so <laughs> but, let yes, me give you a story on Hadra Bilal, by the way. Hadra Bilal was African. Um, he was like the first African to become Muslim. He is like, don't, don't sidetrack from that. I'm going to come back no, to No, you're that. fine. Okay. She has the words on the screen. Why not? <laughs> I'm gonna come back to that. So Hajib Bilal, he he was like the first like like known for that what just came on the Adhan. That's mm -hmm. called the Adhan, like a log, a log. Like that's like okay, it's time to pray. Everybody in the city like it's it's being called from like a big huge wow, like really echoing like that? through the you city. You can hear it through the city. You can hear it like that's boom, fire. like miles away. So he's like the first one. And then mind you, how racism goes back like centuries, decades, mm -hmm. eons. So um, eons, so yes. um, basically the people that time will make fun of Hajar Bilal because I believe he had like a list and like in Arabic there's a letter called Sheen and he couldn't pronounce this letter right so like people made fun of him and hit his heart and like mm. he, he chose not to call the Adhan like for Fajr like before the sun rises so um Hajar Bilal he, he like you know people make fun of me I'm not going to call this Adhan so um basically the story goes since he chose not to call the Adhan the sun chose not to come up that morning and then it's going wow. hours, 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 and like people were like, "Yo, where's the sun?" And then Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was like, "Okay, Hajar Bilal, you gotta call the Adhan so the sun could come up." He called the Adhan, the sun came up. So, and then he's a strong African cool. American, and then he was the one. So when our ancestors came up, Hajar Bilal, before this, he brought Islam to our ancestors. When our ancestors came here, most of them were Muslim, and then when we came here. They like um, they forced us to like, right. mind you, we believe in Jesus and stuff too. Right. So, like, they force us to not practice our religion, and they force us to practice Christianity and right. all these religions the way they Let's saw fit. Right. So, um, that's a whole other series. Sure and so, so, back to the that's tiers. That's the second wave. So, the tiers. So, second tier, we have, um, we have uh, shirts from Ridiculous Apparel. 
<laughs> He's playing that. So we have shirts from Ridiculous Apparel. That's second tier. And they have... Hold on, let's get into that shirt, okay? The shirt has signatures, not the signatures, but the names of many lives that have been lost by the time. We got, like, Sandra Bland, Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin. All the names are on the shirt. Mike Brown, George Floyd, you know, the list goes on and on. Say their names. It's all on the shirt. And then on the back, it got the fist, like, power to people. It's real flies, real fly shirt. Mm -hmm. Who you said make that shirt? So, Ridiculous, Ridiculous Apparel. Apparel. Shout out to Ridiculous Apparel. That was Shout out to shirt. her. Um, so that's in um, second tier. Also... Iverson Barbershop on Robinson. They're giving out five haircuts for this. Shout out to them, too. So that's second That's the Dominican tier. spot. Yeah. Hey, Dominican shout spot. out to the Dominicans. I'm yeah. going to check yeah, them out. Yeah. They do girl hair, too. Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, they do. They do okay, anyway, shout out to them. Shout out to them. And then also in the second tier. So there's five free haircuts. There's going to be like ten shirts, um, second tier. And then um, also shout out to Restaurant, which we're not going to say their names until you guys. It comes it's a gift out. card to the restaurant? Five free meals at this restaurant. Five free. We're not going to say that. Are we allowed, us in the documentary? Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, want that picture out there? I want that picture. I'm going to be this like. Point, and do we get into the TV? What's that? That's oh, the top yeah, the, tier. Okay, top He's tier. He's forgetting all the TV. The, the, the TV. So we got a 32-inch um, flat screen Roku. <laughs> TV. Roku. It has all the stuff, the Hulu, the Netflix, all that on it. You just connect it to your Wi-Fi. And then we have the makeup. You explain the makeup. You explain the makeup. Because I don't know anything. It's makeup. It's Your makeup don't fleek. I, you see my face bare. I don't know shit about the makeup. It was. It said Juvia's place, which I heard is black owned. Juvia's. Yeah, it is. Julia's. She's, she's African and she's, she's out here. Nah, she's nah, not local. Just in general. Just in general. Yeah. All the oh, beauty yes, store. The makeup yes. came from. It's, it's a beautiful very, palette. Beautiful palette. Is that eyeshadow or? It's just like I don't know what it is. That's why I asked you that. <laughs> Because we needed something for the for the ladies, and I it's was a like, beautiful palette. we got two K for the the men. So we got the makeup. It's Juvia's place. I'm sure it's great. Yes, it's a beautiful <laughs> palette. You definitely want from it. Alto, top yeah. tier from yeah, the ladies. It's, yes, it's from top, Alto. Okay, that's for the ladies. Stop yeah. playing. Um, top tier. That's top tier. And then the the third tier. <laughs> that's top tier. We got we got <laughs> selfie sticks. We got about like twenty of them just for participating in selfie sticks. Right. So like so okay, the competition. I said the rules for the competition. So, like, when it ends, we're not going to say when it ends. It could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. Okay, so when it ends, there's going to be one winner of the top tier, mm -hmm. right? One winner. And they're going to get one gift from the top tier, right? It's going to be chosen at random. So, like, if you're a guy, we're just going to pull, like, we're going to put the, the game in the bag and a hat, the TV, all the top tier stuff in a hat. We're going to draw it out and then, like, you might have a man winning the makeup. Okay, play again next time. <laughs> <laughs> so second tier then same thing for second oh, second tier we're giving out those shirts just 10 shirts the five haircuts and then the five um restaurant we're just this giving is the out. best giveaway i didn't heard of so in a minute anyway we're back okay so the purpose of the giveaway so like one this thing isn't about clout but we need the exposure for this because like the more exposure and the more pressure it puts the on the people that are mm -hmm. making the rules for us now they're going to be in the best behavior like, for instance, when I pulled up on tail and the officers, immediately they seen, get this in the, in the, in the, in the, um, the, the camera. They specifically Just asked me put to this turn like my live off just so they could yeah. ask me questions yeah. like where yeah. I live. No, show, no show, show that, step in front of the camera People and show that plugged in what, what I pulled up on talent with so that what? you could see. That whole rate. Oh, yeah, that, so, show the whole rate. So basically, talent went live. <laughs> so basically, talent went live. And then, um... His live dad, I pulled up on him, and then you can see the difference in body language, the body tone, the language, the tone, and then they see that thing that you, that weird contraption, the guy, and then they're like, oh, okay, now we need to be on our best behavior, and then they see that, and then you can right. see it, the, 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 the whole vibe just changed, you're like, you need to stop doing that with your Uber customers, and <laughs> so, I'm dead. So yeah, so that's why we're doing a giveaway, uh, we need the exposure so that, um, it creates more pressure on so that's why we need we need people to subscribe we need people to share we need people to tag their cousins we need people to harass people we need all of us to get together and if you see police harassing us you make sure you help that person yes right yes and we we'll get it on record and send it into the Binghamton documentary and you also <laughs> make sure if the police pull you over you don't pull over you dial 911 and you ask for backup and you pull into a public place you feel me why would so, you call 911? Because you never know what the police going to try to do. Yeah. You never know who you're dealing with. But how do you, you know want to call the police on the police? 
You call nine one one. You call dispatch. Now you now. There's no, a whole no, no, no. crew of people. Listen, that actually, I'm calling my This protocol. And this I'm protocol. This on the Let me explain something. this real quick, so you, cause your people can hear this too. When you call nine one one, it put it through the dispatch. That call right. being recorded. Right. You know right. what I mean? What you do? You ask them a few simple things. You say before I pull over, I want to make sure I'm in a public place where everything going on with the police. I feel uncomfortable. Right. I I was unsure if it was a real police officer, so I had to call nine one one to verify it's a real police officer behind me. So can you verify now that that's for me? Strategy. Right. I then like once that. that's verified, you ask them to make sure the dash cam is on and the body cam is on when they do step out the vehicle. And if they I even like continue it. to go that far to pull you over, they're gonna do the right thing. Most of the time, they might even be like, "Yo." Homie, pretty serious. We don't right. know if he's a lawyer or whatever. Right. Are you really pulling him over for something right. that serious? Oh, yeah, he, he not, got a tail light out. Maybe then 911 dispatcher is going to tell you, yo, you got a tail light out. They just wanted to let you know about it. Da, 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 da. Get home safe. Have a good night. Right. It, right. Exactly. Anyway, Instead of putting you. yourself in danger. No, really. Period. Well, I want to thank you, Manny, for bringing us all on board. I think this is really awesome. Thanks for shooting me a little DM. Cause I'm really happy. I'm really happy to be Don't here with all of you. Don't forget her backstory, y'all. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, do like, come on, stop yeah. neglecting me. It's not I'm funny. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. We're gonna get a backstory with. Yeah, I want my backstory too. Let me get it prepared. I want to make sure I make it yeah. sound juicy. It's gonna be. Cause juicy. I didn't. I wasn't trapping like Tally, y'all. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. <laughs> well, well, we'll put you on after Allegedly. this. Allegedly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Allegedly. Wow, whatever, man. Allegedly. Allegedly. Right, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? I ain't ashamed of my story, but listen, I want. Thank you for bringing us on board. Like I said, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be epic. This is gonna be legendary. Y'all gotta tune in. And um, I want to thank all y'all for coming too. This is great. This is thank like the most guests I've ever had. For, you for sure. I'm happy. By the way, Rocky is the first one to have us publicly come out and talk about this and oh. the first wave. The first wave. I'm the first one to cover the first wave. I like it. By the way, Happy first wave. Here. Yeah, let's get a camera. I love Everybody it go like this. Should we go like this or something? Oh, we put a fist up or something. <laughs> fist, fist up. Oh, yeah, oh. fist up. How are we looking? Great. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. I love y'all. Have a great night. We're going to get up out of here. Before we leave, we got to do pictures and things. Oh, so. yeah. Sorry. There we go. But, all right. Love you guys. Peace out. Power on. Power on. You are now plugged in.